everyone. My name is Leonard Rich. This is the Blue Ridge Dragon. Welcome one and all. As you can see, I have my Blue Ridge Dragon ball cap out. You can, uh, if you want to have one, you can purchase it on my uh, eBay page, which I got them at a good discount rate. Um, I have the link you know, in the description below. And if you want to, you know, uh, subscribe. That little button right there, you know. And I will sit here and uh, entertain you. <laughs> For right now, I'm a writer. I have written some books. I have got some books published. Uh, Pathways into the Darkness, Xenophobe Resurrection, and a couple little small short horror book stories, which is called the Blue Ridge Dragon Short Horror Stories. Plus, I even, just for the fun of it, created a poem book. If you like to hear some poems, cool. Well, uh, and also, I've created some calendars of my photography. One of them uh, is the uh, Southern Gardens, uh, pictures of flowers all through the year, beautiful flowers, my work, because I am not just a writer, I'm also a photographer. But for right now, I'm going to talk about writing. Now, writing, there are people who want to be writers out there. Great, awesome. But you got to keep in mind, you're not going to be probably as successful as Stephen King or a bunch of other writers, but your work is out there. You know, to, to be defined as a writer is not to be defined as making a living as a writer, but even doing it on the side. You're getting what you like out there, what genre that you enjoy doing. For me, I like sci-fi and I like horror. And I also write children's books. I had a very fruitful childhood growing up. Although there were rough times, good or bad, but still, me and my brother, we had, we had a, oh, we had our imaginations to get through us through the summers, uh, through the school days, and we had a ball. So a lot of my children's stories are based off of my childhood. But I digress off that children's book and get back to what I really love writing. I love horror and I love science fiction, even combining the two. You know, like the movie Aliens or Predator, and there are tons and tons of awesome stories out there. Now, I used to like to watch slasher movies. They're good. You know, if I've got a good storyline, I'll watch it. But I like those kind of stories that scare the crap out of you and make you screaming. And you go, what the heck just happened? Did I just scream? That is a good story. So, I'm going to sit here talking about Some people say writing is like a gift. Not exactly. Uh, <clears throat> some people do have raw talent in, in things that they do. Like a musician playing a guitar. I love music. <clears throat> I would love to learn how to play it, but I have no patience for it. But the funny thing is, I got patience for writing. Writing is my passion. It's not just a gift or anything. I don't really call it a gift. It's just I enjoy it. I love it. And plus, <clears throat> as painstaking it can be for some people, is just to get started. Now, I have a quote that I've always kept uh, for people who's wanting to write. All right. To, uh, in order to get start writing and getting your story out there, uh, first begin with a word, and then a sentence, and that sentence turns into a paragraph, and before you know it, you have a novel. That is how you get writing done. Writing is time expanded. It don't happen within a few days. If you really want a good story, uh, passionate characters people can relate to and be along with, well. My friend, let me tell you what, you can't happen because you have to have the patience and you got to concentrate on the story at hand. This chapter, not the other chapters, this chapter. But one thing I do do before I begin writing is write my list of, uh, write the story idea, of course, my list of characters, and then possible timeline because that timeline can change because all of a sudden you go, oh, wait a minute, what if I go this path? And then do this. Ah, story evolves. It's called the evolution of writing. I will go more in detail in other videos about the evolution of writing. But let me tell you this. To become a writer, you got it in you. If you really want to do it, and you really want to create, hey, keep the faith, believe in yourself, and understand. It takes time to write. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm in my 40s. And I've been writing all my life. 
It's just that I have uh, been waiting and waiting for the right person to like my work. And it's a very long wait. Well, with today's technology and today's opportunity, you do have a way to get published and get your work out there. One place I recommend is very user friendly. It's called Lulu.com. I will promote that company because it's very user friendly. They got tutorials, they got templates to work with. They will help you. Even they got extra programs, they cost, of course, uh, to help promote your book and help you along, even help build a website. Although I'm working on my website, it's a slow process because I've been too busy writing. You know, I'm on uh, Wix.com is who I'm working with. Uh, hopefully pretty soon later on I'll have my website up but let me just tell you out there potential writers believe in yourself believe in your story get it out there you will self publish it it's tons and tons and tons of editing trust me a lot of editing but do not rely on yourself on just the editing have someone a friend or even dish out a few a uh, couple hundred dollars or thirty dollars or so uh, for someone who likes to edit, uh, I have a friend of mine who, who she is very good. She's a teacher. Uh, she was worried that um, she was very, very tough on my writing. And she was worried that I would get mad. I said, No, I'm happy. I'm full of joy. I get to see from a point of view where I need to perfect my work. Now, I am bad with commas and punctuations. You'll see that in some, probably some of my stories, and I apologize. <laughs> because when you get a story going, and you get that passion and that juice flowing, it happens. Trust me. No matter how many times you've edited it, it's like, whoops. <laughs> That's with all writers, because I have seen this with a lot of writers. Even the greatest of writers. I won't name no names. But sometimes they make a, whoops. A lot of times it's their earlier stuff. Because as you progress in your writing, you'll find uh, that your work is more perfected. It evolves. And once again, um, in another video, I'll talk more about that. But for right now, believe in yourself. Believe in your story. This is Leonard Rich from the Blue Ridge Dragon signing off. Hey, remember, subscribe. And plus, I got links if you want to have your nice little Blue Ridge Dragon cap or even a Blue Ridge Dragon t-shirt. I'm always here because the Blue Ridge Dragon is here to support riders and riders rule. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.